Dun dun dun. It's freezing. So cold. Well, he's dead. Hello, hello. <laughs> You Weird. want to move the heater from the kitchen Anyways. to the bathroom for your shower? I mean, you could just turn the <clears throat> the heater for the house up a little bit if you really want to, but, uh... Hello! Hello, everyone. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, how is everyone tonight? You're gonna sit it, really, in front of... Let's switch. Oh, oh, start recording. There we go. One of these days, I need to fix my mouse double clicking. It's some mix of Windows fuckery and drivers. I don't know. It's a common issue. Anyways, it's the weekend. Thank fuck. I agree, man. 100% agree on that. I can't wait for tomorrow having the day. I mean, mostly off. Obviously, I'll be streaming and I also have to do the lawn. So, I mean, that kind of shitty, but you know, whatever. Point is, I don't have to go to my normal job. So, thank fuck of that. Playing Cyberpunk, Nate? I'm not surprised. <laughs> How's it going, though? You pretty you pretty far along in it at this point, or you just been fucking around too much? Uh, but anyways, yeah, today we are playing Lagaya 2 Dual Saga. It is a sequel to a, I feel, lesser-known PlayStation 1 game, Legends of Lagaya. Um, I've only ever played a little bit of that game. I don't own it currently. Um, so, yeah. But I do want to play it, and I, I plan on getting it at some point. I've I've seen a bit of Legends of Lagaya and I and and played a little bit of it and I really liked what I played of it. It was a lot of fun, uh, unique combat system that they had. Anyways, point is I don't think Lagaya Two was as well made from what I've read, so I'm a little I'm a little iffy. We'll see how it goes though. I'm hoping it's fun, and at the very least, I hope uh, I hope it has the same combat system just so we can fuck around with that a little bit because it's it's fun, man. It's fun and. Uh, Anyways, let's uh, unmute the game. No one's talked or anything yet, but there is a tiny bit of background music. I don't think there's voice acting in this game or anything like that, as far as I'm aware. But, like, yeah. Anyways, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I feel like that wasn't originally your name. You have work today and you're still in bed. <laughs> Practice is starting any minute now. Uh, I would never stay in bed late when I have work, guys. I... No. Not me. Not a single time. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, so I was, I'm pretty excited to, to be trying this one out. Although, honestly, I was kind of hoping to play Lagaya 1 through before we got to this. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Mostly doing side quests, Nate. I feel it. I feel it. You want to sleep in? And yeah, Odin's here, dude. For sure. Stay in bed, leap out of bed in a panic, or wake up normally. Uh, stay in bed. <laughs> Leave me alone just five more minutes, mumble mumble. Uh, yeah, dude, totally me. 100%. It's exactly what I'd be doing. <laughs> Get out of bed right now. <laughs> Skyrim on PC? That's the best place to play Skyrim, man. What you talking about? It's the only place to play. No, not really. I'm sure it runs just fine on console, but... What do you want? It's early. Can't you see I'm sleeping? Bruh. It's not even noon yet. Have you forgot that today is your first day on the job? You're impossible. <laughs> uh, a lot. Just <laughs> Nate, yeah. He uses too many mods, honestly, in my opinion. My favorite mods are like Sky UI and stuff like that. The ones that just do give some quality of life stuff to the, you know, the experience of playing Skyrim. Those are my personal favorites. And then I really like, there's a Dragon Souls one, I forget the name of, but it lets you uh, consume Dragon Souls to, to, I think it's extra attribute points, if I remember correctly, that you can use Dragon Souls for. Um, little things like that. I'm not usually a huge, like, game-changing mod type person, though. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone's waiting for me to what? Required heal powder. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say that's a healing potion. Um, um, I mean, I could be wrong on that. Wow, the, uh, oh. Oh. Okay, so the D-pad... The D-pad, like, walks. And then the left joystick... Runs. Interesting, okay. The... 
L and R buttons don't seem to do anything yet. Oh, we can we can use the D-pad and hold triangle to run. Do we walk when we do that with the joystick? No. Okay. Uh, circle is menu. This is our menu. Hi, guys. That's us. We don't have a name. Uh, I'm sure we'll learn more about that as we go through how all that shit works. So right now, I'm just doing the, the normal RPG thing, you know, that you got to do. Just go around clicking on literally everything because you never know. Got to snoop through everyone's shit to see what we can get. Uh, which is starting to look like a whole lot of nothing, sadly. What you really want is a mod that lets you carry Kajaro. You can't marry a single Khajiit in this game, but no, I'm wanting to get in on PC anyway, so I figured I would ask. Fair enough. The Forgotten City is definitely a quest mod you'd get. Is that the... That's the one that they ended up turning into a full game? Or... I always... I always confuse, I feel like, Forgotten City and, and something else. But... Anyways... Yeah, there's, there's a lot. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for joining, love. There's a lot of really good mods on PC, honestly. Uh, you've probably played Skyrim enough at this point that I would say you might as well go go full in on, on just downloading all the crazy shit. But uh, normally, I would say, you know, you should probably just play the game through normal first with maybe just some, some small stuff like Sky UI and shit. But yeah, I mean, fuck it. You've played Skyrim enough at this point. Just download Thomas the Tank Engine Dragon Replacement and uh, what's the fucking Randy Sav Savage Man something? I don't remember his fucking name. <laughs> so he's just yelling all the time and shit. Oh, Open Cities is a lot of fun too. Open Cities is a uh, is is pretty good. I don't know if it's compatible with with like Forgotten City and stuff like that. But basically, it just makes the game uh, so you don't have to load whenever you go into most of the major cities. What are you doing? Hurry along outside before Galvin has your head on a platter. Acquired point card. I don't know what that does, but I got it. Either you got the notification late or I got into the game quick this time. I feel like you probably got the notification late. Because it was probably it was probably about my normal three to five minutes. That's about what I usually try to wait, just so everyone has a bit of a minute to, uh, to hop in before I get into the game itself. Ooh, chest. Yes, please. More heal powder. Okay. I mean, I'll gladly take it. Ah, breathe that fresh air. Oh, first person view. Fancy, dude. I think this might be the same town from where you start in the original. I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's been quite a while since I've played any of it, and I never got that far into it. So I could be wrong, but it looks similar to the to the town that you started in, in the first game. Hello, everyone's outside practicing. Chop, chop, hurry up. Okay, mom. God. My Google speaker has been, like, going off constantly. Like, every time, like, it just went off again. I'm not saying anything. Like, <laughs> like I said, hello, hello. And uh, it, it went off. Hello, hello. Nowhere in there did I say Google, okay? Like, Bruh, chill. Just go to Nexus, pick some out. There's also some to expand on crafting and leveling that are really good. <laughs> Literally just pushes down the fucking stairs. Okay. Yeah, Nexus has a bunch of really good mods, and you can uh you can like go sort by like top downloads of all time, top rated of all time, and shit like that. That's how I usually end up finding the ones that I want to play with. Galvin, good stop. That's enough for today. We have a new member starting today. Introduce yourself. Uh, act cool. Introductions are lame. <laughs> Introductions are lame. Sorry, man. I just don't feel like dealing with that kind of stuff today. <laughs> I love it. I love it already. I don't know what the game plays like. I don't know if this game ends up being shit, but god damn it, I like it already. You will be respectful. Don't waste your time with your childish games. Now introduce yourself. <laughs> Lang. Everyone okay with Lang? Lang sounds good to me. My first time playing through games... Actually, the majority of the time I play through games, I just use the default name. Ow. <laughs> you listen to me. With anything you do, how you begin is very important. You remember that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> is your brain still in sleepy land, you little punk? I was expecting him to slap us again. Not gonna lie. Aston and Edward. 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 Bruh. Google. Stop. <laughs> the fuck do you keep going off for? I don't know if you guys can hear it because I use uh, RTX voice. 
but it just went off again. It's fucking being weird, dude. Aston and Edward, you wait here in town. I love how we have a name like Nancy, and then we have Edward. E-D-O-U-A-R-D. -E <laughs> Marcus and Dane, you do the usual. Patrol Hunter's Wood. Patrol on that hun Hunter's Wood, eh? I mean, that's one thing to do. I guess. It's because you got mad at it last night? Maybe. It wouldn't shut the fuck up. And you, Lane, you come to see me when you're ready. Got that? Wow, hard ass. So, what, I can just fuck around? Is this secretly a farming game? Is this just another version of Harvest Moon? Why, hello there, sleepyhead. I thought Father called for you. Maybe you should, um, go and see him? Or you could always make yourself useful and help me with chores around here. Uh, let's help Nancy. If you tried to help me, it would create even more work for me. <laughs> wow, Nancy's rude as fuck, dude. Lang, you overslept on your first day? Get it together, man. So you begin today, Lang. We have high hopes for you. Thanks to the Vigilance Corp. We can hunt in safety. Being in the core is no big deal. I can't let these people down. I don't like being pressured. Uh, being in the core is no big deal. The monsters around here, they're nothing. Core work is nothing special. Don't talk like that. The safety of the town is in your hands, man. What could be more important? Yeah, Borto, Borto. <laughs> is this Galvin? No, this is Dean. Dane? Lang, you slacker. Get serious. How lucky you are. I wish I could just eat and sleep and do nothing else. Act timid. I, I'm sorry, don't be so mad at me. <laughs> we're, we're just going to confuse the fuck out of all of them. Like, no one's going to know. I'm going to be a dick 90% of the time and then start crying and then just act like nothing matters and then go back to being a dick again. Mm. I'm not your typical core trainee. Keep that in mind. Lang has acquired the nickname Sword Holder. Cool. Late from day one. Lang, be on time tomorrow. Bruh. Last I checked, none of you are my mom. Can't tell me what to do. You're not even my real dad, mom. <laughs> Hi, old man, Sean. Hmm, you must be one of Galvin's young ones. Aha, you're starting today in the Vigilance Corps. Your job is very important to Noel. Bless you, child, and good luck. Thank you, finally someone with some fucking respect around here. Do you have anything I can steal? No, nothing? The fuck is this, man? This whole house, and, and and not a single damn thing for me to take? What about some, some pig? Can I <laughs> can I take some pig meat? Oh, look, we can climb ladders, man. Already better than Skyrim. No. <laughs> Sorry. It looks so soft. Maybe if I got on it? Uh... <laughs> could it be any fluffier? I could do this forever. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck, dude? Hi there, Joanne. Oh, if it isn't Lang, is today your first day on the job? Does that mean you won't be helping out at my shop anymore? Probably not, dude. Bro, really? <laughs> it's so fluffy, though. <laughs> Look, like you wouldn't lay down on it, too, okay? Don't be giving me no shit. <laughs> I feel like the running animation looks a lot faster than what we're actually moving. E luck. This is my area. Get out. Wow, dude. Coco, daddy told me not to play in the field. Aren't you playing in the field? I'm assuming that's your family's field right there. And it looks a lot like you're playing in it to me. Hello. Monday. Oh, hi, Lang. Are you starting your job today? Humans need to work. You have to work if you want to eat. Isn't that right? Humans need to work. Um, you know, it's really weird whenever people talk like that. Humans need to work. Not like people like us need to work or, or we need to work to survive. No, humans. I'm just saying, it might make you seem a little bit suspicious. Whenever you go around saying, you know, humans need to work. Wink. <laughs> Bruh, you trying to tell us something? You a fucking alien, dude? I'm assuming this is the shop. This looks like the shop. What are these humans you speak of? Humans? The fuck? Poison cure? Dope. It is empty. Yep, probably because I already stole everything out of it. Where are the toilets in this world? Where do people go to the bathroom? Does everyone just shit outside? Listen to me now. This is your first job, so you have to give it your all, okay? 
Ah, starting with the Vigilant Corps today, are you? This is the best item shop in town. Medicines, food, you want it? We got it. Take a look around, my child. I'm assuming Mallory's is probably the only <laughs> shop in town. Scroll of Identity, very nice. Large Rice Ball. Resource 300 HP. That's better than the than the heal powder. Acquired Pedometer. Ooh, so now we know how far we've walked. If you have some spare cash, go next door. They have tons of high-quality armor and weapons. Fancy. Um, so, like, if Rice heals you better than heal powder does, why do we even have heal powder, man? Why aren't we all just carrying around buckets of rice? Deep. You know what? It's probably heavy. That's probably what it is. Hadam. Ah, Lang. First day on the job, eh? Choose your weapons carefully. Here, take a good look. They're all superior quality goods. Broadsword, padded jacket, leather gloves, poison charm, leather helm, and some shit we can't afford. How much money do we have? 500? Um, I'm gonna wait and see if it gives us a weapon or anything like that. Before we, uh, end up buying anything. We make the best weapons in the whole world, the little girl said. For some reason, I doubt that. And you, Jill. My husband can't do anything on his own. I have to do everything. Make sure you don't turn into a person like my Monde Lang. He's not half the man he says he is. Damn, boy. The hunting trip yesterday was a big success. Borto <laughs> told me all about it. The silly man. Why, hello there, Lang. You're starting today. Vigilance core is tough work. You take care, you hear? Sorry, I have to just... I'm nosy. I have to check everything, talk to everyone. I'm very sorry. I can't help it. It's how I do things. <laughs> it feels wrong not to. Hi, old lady. Hannah? Hannah? Is that you, Lang? It's been a long time. You used to be a naughty little boy. Now look how you've grown. Sob. Uh, I'm still a naughty little boy. <laughs> oh, God. I'm tired. Anyways, well, I spam Discord with some mods and the mods manager for you, Rue. Oh, yeah, dude, I totally forgot about the mod manager. That's kind of a big one. <laughs> Honestly, you might want to 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 give that one. And uh, SKSE, if it's been properly updated for the newest version, assuming you have anniversary edition. Excuse me while I yawn. Anyways, if you don't have anniversary edition, I would highly suggest to get the upgrade for that because that's like, what, 100 mods right there or some shit? Oh, Lang, you start work today, right? I can't believe how grown up you are. Has it already been a decade? Ten whole years since Galvin found you at the lake. What a fine young man you have become. Oh, dude, that's why I'm addicted to everyone. I'm an orphan from the lake. I'm not human. I'm a lake monster. Can we get past you? No. Hey, Lang, first day on the job. Have fun. And remember, I always get the best fish. No, he hasn't. He's an asshole. Wait, what? I already forgot what I've said. <laughs> Am I the asshole in this situation, or is someone else the asshole? Did you go to see the captain? No. Oh, you won't let me pass? What a dick. Lang? Wait, Lang hasn't done what? Oh, he hasn't grown up? Is that what he hasn't done? Look, we're on a delay, and my mind only, like, remembers things for about three seconds. So... <laughs> Alright, captain. Oh, Cap'n, my Cap'n. You gonna slap me? Good luck with that. <laughs> Late from day one, what do you think? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's gonna be my fucking catchphrase by the end of the game, dude. Just ow. Pull something like that tomorrow and there will be no supper for you. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day that I'd be working with you. That little snot-nosed kid is now a musketeer wannabe. You're all grown up. Oh, don't fucking cry now, dude. Nancy, on the other hand, has grown up rude and... Br brusque? I don't actually know that word. It's not too often I see a word that I don't know, like, at all. Brusky. <laughs> Brusque? You? Brusque. It means abrupt or offhand in speech and manner. And it's brusque. It means... Or it's pronounced brusque. Okay. I'm assuming that's the English. Like, American English. Uh, pronunciation. Rough, you think it means? Pretty close, yeah. She should act a little more ladylike, really. Wow, what if she wants to be a fucking vigilant core, dude? Sexist asshole. Lang, come here. 
You're an adult now and a Vigilant Corps member. Member. Once you have a job, it means that you must be a responsible member of society. I don't want to adult today. I just want to stay in bed. How'd I like the free pride die on D&D Beyond? Dude, they were sick. I didn't look at all of them. I just saw like the D20 or whatever because I redeemed it on my phone. But uh, I like how it used like uh, like gems. Uh, what are they called? Like uh, geode style things that looks like they cut down or something like that. It's, it's pretty cool looking. Uh, sorry, taking a drink. Pride Dice, yeah, uh, D and D Beyond. It's like a, uh, it's the leading online place for D and D nerds uh, to play D and D, and now the official place to do so. Anyways, they gave away a uh, set of digital die uh, for Pride. All life in this town depends on the bounty provided by the lake. The lake is always pure and fresh because that stone keeps it so. The aqu uh, aqualith. That miraculous rock sustains the life of this town. We must never forget our gratitude, not just for the lake, but for Hunter's Wood. The sky, everything. Fucking everything rides on this one stone. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> That's right, Dad. So work hard and don't forget to be grateful. That's the point. Never forget that, Lang. <laughs> he just fucking shoo me with the back of his hand? The fuck, dude? Today we're patrolling Hunter's Wood. You're coming with us, so get all your stuff ready. Once you're ready, come to the town gates. Dane and Marcus are already there, so look for them. What are you waiting for? To be dismissed, I suppose. Yes, I understand. I didn't have a choice. What if I wanted to tell him to fuck off? Okay, now I'm joking. We're gonna go. I do wish... to know... Do we have... Uh any equipment at all. We have a long sword that I'm assuming is already equipped since I can't click on it. Same with everything else. Okay. Oh, info. Very fancy. Uh, items. Can we... We have a pedometer. An instrument that records number of steps. Is that what it fucking does? I was wondering. Gives the enemy the amount of damage shown. Rack up card points when you buy items. Wait. Gives the enemy the amount of damage shown? So we just, we get points for buying shit, and then we can just throw it at the enemy, essentially, to hurt them? I don't... <laughs> Our skills, none yet. Very well. Config, directional buttons, stereo, battle item, effect, fire, camera movement, message speed, uh, instant. Cursor, movement, uh, run by default, please. Display status? Uh, on, I guess? Vibration all the time, man. Give me all the vibrations, please, and thank you. In order, that's just for the, the characters. Okay. So I guess we'll just get to it. Uh, excuse me, didn't I say... Did it not save my, my configuration settings that I just did? Hold on. Config. Uh... On. Run. I think I left the rest the same. So maybe I have to return to main menu? There, did that save it? I'm, I'm hoping that saved it. There we go. Now I can use the D-pad. You posted the dice. Dope. Uh, so I forgot to get the movie Texas tickets. So do you want to be all the way in the back or in the middle? Do you want to be all the way in the back, in the middle? Uh, it doesn't have to be like literally the very back seats. But if that's what you want, I'm fine with that. I don't mind being in the clear back seats. I mean, I feel like that's what most people prefer, right? Honestly, I'm just not like a moviegoer, so it doesn't really matter to me. You're the new kid and you act like you own the place? I do. This is my town, bitch. It's your first day. Did you get everything you need? Uh, I, I'm ready. <laughs> Did you want to choose the seats? No, in the, in the back uh, is fine. I'm fine with that. Are you sure? I bet you don't have medicines and stuff on you. Yes, I do, actually. Heal powder and poison cure? Thanks, man. Uh, Be grateful. Hey, thanks for everything. Huh, what's gotten into you? I'm just making sure you don't cause problems for everyone else. She likes me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a thank you. Bitch, I ain't always a dick. <laughs> just most of the time. Everyone here? Good, here we go. I did offer to help you work earlier, but you told me I wasn't good enough for you, so... The fuck you want from me? Oh, Lang. 
Don't overexert yourself. If you get hurt, come back and rest a bit, okay? Now get going. <laughs> there she is again, being brusque. <laughs> Aw, no free overworld movement? Damn. That's too bad. My Japanese is pretty shit, but I think that might have said Hunter's Wood. <laughs> You've never been here before, have you, Lang? This is Hunter's Wood. Uh, is that a deer? Hi, deer. The people of Knoll depend on this forest and its living creatures for sustenance. Look at all of that wonderful greenery. Breathe in that fresh air. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's a weird looking deer. But you've got to be careful. It may look peaceful, but there are monsters in this forest, and that's where we come in. But relax, the monsters around here aren't much of a threat. No need to get too worked up about it. Oh, I don't know about that. He has trouble killing weeds. I can kill you easy enough, dick. A rookie like him might get eaten right away. Yeah, I can see that happening. Hey, what was the thing stream said about the Vortex thing for Anniversary Edition? No, no, no. Uh, the Anniversary Edition and SKSC, Skyrim Script Extender, um, had a bit of a problem at first. Like, it technically worked, but it wasn't fully compatible. Uh, Vortex, on the other hand, is fine. Like, yeah. Vortex worked just fine with, with Anniversary Edition, as far as I'm aware. Uh, tell Dane off, because he seems like an asshole. Shut it, Dane. I can take care of myself. <laughs> you just worry about you and make sure you don't hold the rest of us back. What? Would you listen to this crap? Somebody hold me back before I beat him down. <laughs> yeah, SKSE is required for like 70% of mods, man. <laughs> I may be over-exaggerating a little bit. It just depends on what mods you want to do, but a lot of them do require SKSE. Um, so it's, it's definitely something you want. And I imagine by now it's probably compatible, like, like fully compatible. Uh, I just know there were some issues early on with it. Leave him alone, Dean. Remember your first time? You were shaking in your boots. Me? No way, Captain. Come on. I wasn't scared. Uh, flashback time? <laughs> yeah, well, if you say so. Damn right. Look, Captain, we're going up on ahead. On up ahead. Words are hard. Come on, Marcus. Let's make this a quick trip. In and out. You know what I miss? Not being congested. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> well, follow me, Lang. I'll give you a few pointers on what we do here. I'm going to blow my nose real quick. Be right back. Uh, Noodle, I hate to tell you this, love, but we already have all of the Jurassic World movies and Jurassic Park movies, including digital copies. <laughs> so, like, not to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but, uh, I'm not quite sure we need that, love. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool that we get money off, but... <laughs> well, it's a code, know anyone who wants it? Not off the top of my head. How much, how much is it? Before or after the 10% uh, off or 10% $10 off Don't panic now. This is the perfect chance to teach you how to fight All right Lang, let's start with the basics Try choosing battle first Now then choose attack next I would love to Use the directional button to enter the strikes enter as many strikes as there are art blocks so yeah, this is the the thing with 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 the Legend of Lagaya and Lagaya 2. 
So your attacks are actually determined. It, it's a turn-based game, but your attacks are based off of the buttons that you input. And there's like different combos that you can find out and unlock and whatnot, like fighting games. But like you put it all in ahead of time, and it's just I don't know. It's just a really neat combat system. It's it's not one that I've seen other places before, and I think it's pretty neat. Some of the combos look cool. Like yeah, select the target of the attack with the directional button, then use the X button to confirm. Claw Ant One. You're finished, huh? All right, now it's my turn. Right then, when you're ready, choose begin. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to cancel. Uh, that's all fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, we did this already. I didn't mean to hit cancel, I'm sorry. Ticket spot, 7 p.m. on the 15th, and we don't have voodoo down here. I don't know then, whatever. Okay, begin. Look at us go, man. You done fuck that client up. No oh, shit. <laughs> uh. There we go. Get fucked, Ant. Yao to have fallen way behind on my BOS. BOS. Bill of Sale. <laughs> Leave the enemy to me. Use the medicine. First of all, choose battle. To use the medicine choose the item command i saw there was an auto option which i appreciate good now use the heal powder uh but what if i don't want to i'm hardly even hurt mom use the directional button to scroll through targets choose the x button to select all right then leave the rest up to me you got this book of shadows oh sure yeah i mean basically the same thing right <laughs> Okay, now maybe some heal powder would be uh, useful. Ooh, look at those fancy PS2 particle effects. So fancy. Okay, who's next? I forgot about that. That's like the only voice acting in the first game is whenever you're doing like combos and shit in combat. And it seems like they may have carried that over to the PS2 one here. <laughs> oh god. Good thing these enemies weren't much of a threat. You didn't do too badly for your first time. Fuck! I can't stop yawning. Uh, oh man, we already got three, three, uh, three attacks per turn. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Is there like a map or anything? No. Okay. Uh, I kind of don't like that thing being open. So we're gonna go back into config. One thing we're gonna do is change that to instant because that's where I meant to have it, and then uh, just have the time. The, the default that it had on. Let's just do that and then go back. In a way, you have to dedicate a lot of time to it. You're currently working on tarot cards. I know nothing about it, to be honest. I, <laughs> that's, I don't think I ever would have guessed that it was Book of Shadows, to, to, uh, to be honest, man. Bloody Wolf 1, 2, and 3. These monsters look tougher than the last ones. Now's the time to teach you some arts. Do just as I tell you and you'll be fine. First, choose the battle command. Good. Next, choose the attack command. Okay. Ready? I'll teach you the most basic art. Enter right down right. Balloon Moon Buster normal art is right down right. Okay. That's it. You got it. Now choose the target. Uh, Bloody Wolf number one. <laughs> Why not, man? And begin. Uh, dude, that Bloody Wolf sucks. Uh, okay. Well, he might kill Galvin, though. Holy shit. I feel like the game might be cheating in my favor here. Uh, <laughs> know what I mean? I'll show you. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the 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 neat thing about the combat system right there. That's that's what I like. Um, and then you can. And then you can uh learn new combos. By by, like just just experimenting with different things and whatnot. The the less options you have, input options you have, the less possible combos there are for you to do. Obviously, um, but you can still unlock them early, I believe, by by just basically guessing what they are. I'm, I mean, I guess you could look them up or something too. But where's the fun in that, you know? Sandstorm. <laughs> love it. Fucking love it. There are a lot of other arts. Try out lots of combos and try to find them on your own. Okay. 
<laughs> 69. Nice. Art acquired Sandstorm. 150 gold received. Fuck yeah. Noodle was trying to get a tarot card. Your sister bought you. Oh, yeah. I remember your tarot cards. Vaguely. Uh... I remember, didn't you say there was something about not letting anyone else touch them or something? I don't know. Well then, let's start in all those claw ants crawling around. We're offline. So is there like a specific place I should be trying to get to? Or am I just running around aimlessly? I don't really know what's going on here. <laughs> I mean, I know it said to like patrol the, the, the hunter's wood. So I mean, I guess that's just what we're going to do in the meantime. But bloody wolf um up down up bloody wolf oh dude i get to use both okay up 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 start experimenting here man never touch another person's tarot cards you fuck up their energy yep <laughs> see i vaguely remember there being something along those lines Okay, up, up, up does fuck all. Good to know. Um, now what about... Oh, no, not item. Go back. What about... Uh, right, right, right. I doubt it'll do anything. I doubt any of the, like, just repeating the same ones are going to do anything. But there's only one way to find out, man. Right, right, right is nothing. Down, down, down. Absolutely nothing. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you can just, like, look up the list of all of them, but there's no fun in that. You know, we got to experiment, figure it out for ourselves, man. We were literally, like, one step away from, I'm guessing, one of our objectives. Or do we just, like, chase it down? Maybe that's the goal. Just just go in that... Oh, hi there, friends. There's three of you. Noodle would love your deck. It's got cat, crows, wolves, and owls, along with some other mythical creatures and animals. That does sound cool. Technically not supposed to buy your own cards to you guys. Uh, I, I wouldn't know. Uh, okay, let's try up, left, right. I'm not going to remember all the ones I've tried. No attack. Uh, left, right, down. Begin. Uh, this seems like another scripted thing because I'm not taking any damage. That one got fucked though. Oh, but see, there, I did take damage, though. I don't know, man. It's weird. Either I just have better defense than the dude that's supposed to be stronger than me, or the game's helping me cheat. I don't know which one. Uh, what's auto do? Aggressive attack, aggressive attack. I just, I want to see what it does now. Plus, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we're going to live through this, so. No match for me. <laughs> no match for me. Yay! We won! That's not a hard and fast rule anymore, though. Nowadays, let's go for whatever you feel drawn to. You love a noodle, the cat is the wizard, too. <laughs> Sister has this really cool deck, like black with rainbows and hollow. Oh, shit! There's like three of them back to back. Okay. Then maybe in that case, what we'll do is we'll get this heal powder here and we'll use it on, on ourself. Look at that. I know how to play video games. <laughs> Also, should probably not do the auto battle. And uh, maybe it would also be smart to use the combos that we know for the time being, you know? Like, that would probably be a smart thing to do, but where's the fun in that anyways? Uh, start with three. You can start with three. I'll start with one and we can work away toward each other. Um, I've already forgotten the combos that we know. I thought right, left, right was one. <laughs> was it right, down, right, or right, up, right? Might have been. It might have been one of those. Let's try right, up, right. And then was it left, up, left? Was the other one? I don't remember, man. Nope, wasn't that one either. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, we're kicking their ass anyways. I don't think we need... Who needs combos? <laughs> combos are for All losers. Right. 
Hey, got that level up. I'm assuming that's a good thing. This isn't Final Fantasy VIII after all. <laughs> I kind of want to fight stuff that aren't right, right, left, that aren't claw ants is what I was going to say. Uh, left, left, right. Or was it like left, left, down? I don't know, man. Is there somewhere? There might be somewhere where we can like look at our combos. Know what I mean? It would be very handy if that were the case. Because with a uh, big dude, Gravana or whatever his name is, it probably wouldn't matter so much. But with Lang, being able to actually complete the combo would probably actually kill someone. Which would be handy. How's that? Since he can't kill people in one turn, like like uh, Galvin, that's his name, can. See that? Hey. I have no idea what he just said either. Not even a little bit of a clue. We've taken care of all the clients around here. Why don't we try someplace else? Okay, I mean, yep. That sounds like a thing we can do. Also, thank you for going off again, Google. I appreciate that. What do you mean I have no skills? I mean, okay, skills are probably something else. But, like, man, there's nowhere to see my combos either. <laughs> I've already forgotten what they were. Uh, Was it right, right, left? No, I tried that, didn't I? Did I, though? Left, left. Left, right, left, down, left, left, down. I don't remember. See where I was playing Cyberpunk? Now I'm going to reinstall Skyrim with mods. Didn't you try that, like, uh, not too long ago, and you had so many mods installed that it just wouldn't run? Okay, there's okay, tactics. Standard recovery, recover, aggressive attack. Aggressive attack, aggressive attack. I mean, I guess we can just auto. That's basically what I want to do, is just aggressive attack for days. Generally speaking, though, in most games, the auto system is a lot worse than than if you were to actually play for yourself. But, I mean, we got a preemptive attack on it here, so other than it taking possibly one extra turn, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay. Who's next? Uh, nobody. That's the end of the battle, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure you knew that, though. Like... Do you remember which character noodle? I'm assuming not. I don't think you've ever even watched the show, have you? Like, uh, I guess just keep going to the right. See what happens. We'll just we'll follow left hand wall. <laughs> that's that's usually what I think the best bet is. Just just pick a side and follow it, like until something happens. To load a previously saved game, select load on the menu screen. Okay, thank you for that. I had no idea how to load a game. I've never done that before. The main dude, question mark. Afro dude, question mark. Yeah, totally. Main Afro dude. <laughs> I don't remember their names either, to be honest with you. I haven't watched Cowboy Bebop since I was fairly young. I don't remember exactly what age or anything, but I was probably like a young teenager, maybe a preteen. It's been a long time. Chocolate. I need chocolate. Save successful. Thank you. And keep going. Hi there, Dean. Nice to see you haven't died yet. I'm joking. I wouldn't mind if you did. Oh, shit. Did I say that out loud? My bad, man. I meant, uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> You need to watch it all the way through, Nate. Same, to be honest. I remember liking what I saw of it, but like when I was watching it, it was on, you know, like Toonami or whatever. So I just kind of saw it when it was on. How do you like your first aid? Dean's going? He's such a slacker. And yeah, he's trying to be a dick to me. Like, come on, man.
Afro dude, you're sure he's closest to that, you think? Probably. You're probably right. Toonami rules? Fuck yeah, it does, man. Toonami's the best. Are we missing something? No, this just loops all the way around. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep following our, our... You can imagine we had our left hand extended against this invisible wall. We're just gonna just gonna keep following it until it takes us somewhere new, I suppose. We'll see where it leads us. I guess that was just like a safe area. Oh, oh, here we go. There's there's a, a Pokemon. We, we gotta chase it down. Oh shit, we're in a battle. They made a mistake canceling it once when you were a kid. You you never forgiven them for that. For canceling what, Cowboy Bebop? Or canceling Toonami? Did they cancel Toonami at some point? Is it left, left, right, maybe? And then right, right, left? Were those the two options? Nope, I don't think that was it either. Holy shit, dude. Oh, fuck. That one hurt. I, I mean I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna live, but that hurt nonetheless. Nami's been canceled multiple times, really? See, I don't really watch cable, so I didn't know. Was it right right down? I mean I gotta like stumble upon the, the combo by accident at some point, right? <laughs> like, oh three fucking HP. I'm surprised we're alive. See, that's okay. Toonami Tom Funky? Is that a typo? Or is a Tom Funky something I don't I don't know about? Oh my god, for real, I wonder what the fuck is a Tom Funky? What's a leaf of stamina? Leaf of the food jewel tree. Just a superhuman property. It's very fancy. Uh, I just want to heal. Funko. Okay. Okay. I thought maybe it was just a typo. Or is that what people call Funkos these days? Tom Funkies. <laughs> Cancel multiple times like Futurama. I'm still mad at them for that. Because I fucking love Futurama, man. I'm really excited for it to be back, though. Like, really excited for it to be back. Uh, no, I didn't mean auto battle. Attack. Up, right. Right. I don't. I, I just don't know how I've forgotten it, man. Like, we just did. Oh, circle. Right, left, right. Didn't I try right, left, right? Do I not have enough AP for it? Oh, shit. Right, left, right. Wait, no, cancel. Go back. Because I want you to be the one to do it. Because you, you can just do whatever the fuck you want and you'll still kill a client. So, yeah, we want to do it that way. Mood. Honestly, you're concerned it ended off pretty well. I mean, this is true, but like, it's the original team and everybody, including John DiMaggio, is back, right? From what I remember. So, like, it should be pretty good. Um... Also, that wasn't enough to actually kill one. I thought with doing the combo, it'd be good, but I guess not. So what, right down left? Where is my AP gauge? Is that the thing on bottom? Yeah, okay, so that's probably why I couldn't do it. Because I didn't have enough AP. To attack? To do the combo attack? match for me yeah okay okay and wait a second blue moon buster actually gives us AP so really I should be doing blue moon buster until I max out my AP or get close to it and then be experimenting because it's possible that we put in the right inputs for a combo but it just didn't do anything because we didn't have the ap to do it so we need to be doing 
right down right on just everything, basically all the time. Until we have AP to spare. Got it. Now, now I'm getting it, okay? Took a moment. How is that combo more powerful than a regular attack? Yet it gains AP, like, like draws AP from the enemy or something? I don't, I don't understand that. Like, I don't know how a special move ever gives you points. That'd be like casting a spell and it giving you mana, but also doing more damage than if you were to just attack. That's, that's weird. I don't know how that works. I gotta keep going. You're gonna get your shower, you'll be playing in the background. Sorry, head went other places. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your shower, love. I'll probably be here when you get out. You still listen to some of Toonami's Tom speeches at time? I mean, like, look, the image of Toonami Tom is burnt into my memory. But like, that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't really know, man. Like, did people really like watch just Toonami Tom? Was like he that big of a figure for people? I mean, it sounds like he was for you guys. To me, he was just that dude that delivered me neat anime. Like, <laughs> like I don't really remember listening to him talk or anything, to be honest. He's an icon. <laughs> Fuck, I was thirsty. All right. So we have all kinds of stuff now. So maybe now is the time. Let's do uh, left, right, left. Claw And then with you, let's do right, up, right. Maybe, maybe that'll do something. <laughs> Probably not, but you know, it's worth a shot, man. You're never gonna learn if you don't try, right? Yeah, I mean, like, like I was saying, he's cool. Like, I've always thought that Tanami Tom was neat, but uh, I don't remember him having like some intense monologue sequences or something that anything like that. Now you know who uh, who is an icon though. IMO Goku, dude. <laughs> I've been watching rewatching Dragon Ball because I haven't watched it since I was probably like 17 or something like that. Maybe 16. I don't remember. Pretty young. And uh, I'm on the second Tenkaichi tournament, and it's it's just a lot of fun. I love that show. Uh, up, down, up, and uh, left, left, left. Go for it. Begin. Man, how? I'm so tempted to look up combos, but at the same time, I don't want to be that guy that just like basically uses cheat codes. That reminds me, what was I playing? Uh, Stardew Valley, the the modded Stardew Valley run. I, I was playing that, and I saw somebody had a cheat code uh, scribbled in a book, and in their house, in their room, or whatever. And it makes me wonder if uh, if that's like a, a cheat code for the game itself. But I didn't feel like getting out a, a pen and writing it down so I could try typing it in. Pretty sure it was Stardew Valley. But uh, I don't know. I think that would be pretty neat if that's something that they added in with the mods. Is it some some weird cheat code shit that does something? Even if it's just like an Easter egg and gives you uh, like a one-time thing or something like that, I would that would still be pretty neat. Was a big part of your childhood, Nate? Yes, he gave inspo speeches on the weekend once. Uh, the weekend was one of the main times you had cable and got to watch anime growing up. Other than that, it was some DVDs that were bought for me. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much the same for me. Um, my mom actually used to tape it for me, uh, not Toonami, but the Nickelodeon morning anime block because I couldn't, I didn't have cable for a few years. And, uh, so she would tape it for me and bring me the tape so I could watch like my Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and shit like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then Toonami at night, I, I mean, yeah, I watched, you know, Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho and Cowboy Bebop and Full Metal Alchemist and all that shit. You love OG Dragon Ball? You had it on VHS? I had it on DVD when I was younger. I'm, I'm guessing it got lost in the house fire. Um, that's the only thing I can think of, but I ended up buying it again a, a little while back now. It's been 
It's been a bit, but uh, like I said, I've been finding time to watch it because I've been eating in my car on, on my lunch break at work and I get hour lunch breaks. Right. And obviously it doesn't take that long to eat and I can eat and watch something at the same time. So yeah, I've just been sitting in my car and then like propping up my, my, uh, my, my phone and then just watching my digital copies of it on there, which is pretty dope, man. It's a pretty decent way to spend a, uh, an hour at work, you know, watching some Dragon Ball. Yeah, I can get into it. That's for sure. You remember watching him late at night on CN Cartoon Network, one of the many nights you couldn't sleep, you were tired as hell, but he honestly brought a lot of comfort to me. Man, you guys got some like good-ass memories with him, huh? See, I don't know. To me, he was just, like I said, the guy that showed me some anime. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, Tenshi Muyo was one of the first animes you personally owned. Your grandma got it for me. I don't know that one, I'll be honest. Did you get all of DB and DBZ? Yes, all but uh, Super. I have Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, which of course is non-canon, but still I have it. And then I have the movie packs for uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So I do have all of it except for Super. Uh, for Super, I think I have all three movies. I think I have all three movies. I know I have Broly and uh, the first one, question mark, but I don't know if I have the second movie or not. Can't remember that one for sure. Looks like we took care of most of them for now. Let's join the others over there and head on home. Yeah, we'll talk later, Nate. I might be able to let you borrow it for a bit or something. Uh, talk to the others and head on home. Okay, so that means go back to the right because we were following the left wall. So now let's follow the wall to the right and that'll get us back to the others. How much you want to bet they're getting their asses kicked and we're going to have to save them? Fucking called it. <laughs> Marcus. Not Marcus. Uh, Kevin, Dane, he's in there. Uh, <laughs> that thing. Never seen anything like it. Shh, don't talk now. He's in bad shape. Lang, I'm going to bring Marcus back to town. We've got to get him some help right away, or else he isn't going to make it. Shut the fuck up, dude. He's going to be fine. Dane's still somewhere in the forest. You look for him. When you find him, bring him back on town. Back on down? I don't know what that said. I want you both back safe. You hear me? Now get out there and find him. Do it. All by myself. <laughs> Should be safe? Probably. Am I gonna save? Yeah. I think I'm gonna go back and save. Assuming I don't just fucking die right here. To a fly trap? Oh shit, dude. We about to get fucked by the fly trap uh yeah fly trap begin hopefully we do like half damage to it at least we did not we did not do half damage to it will sandstorm be enough to take it out probably not nope nope that wasn't enough <laughs> god damn it uh, okay, that wasn't that bad. No, don't guard. Stop that. Um, right down right. Okay. Fly trap. Be good. Let's get that AP build up. I feel like we're gonna end up needing it. It's mine. I gotta keep going. Sixty gold received. Fuck yeah, dude. Getting all that cash money, uh, go back and save. Don't be dumb. I wonder, is this one of the games that heals you when you save? I don't know, but it would be neat if it did. Uh, also, looking over, before we do this, uh, I'm sure to be thrilling boss battle that's coming up, we should probably take a short break. It's been about an hour, and of course, Twitch makes me run an ad roughly every hour, so... Let's take a break, man. I'm going to run down and get something to drink while we do that. Uh, if you guys haven't been hydrating, you know, getting that water in, I highly suggest you do that yourselves. And of course, we'll be back in like three to five minutes, something like that, after we've all gotten hydrated and uh, stretched out and feeling good. And then we'll come back for another, I don't know, maybe like a half hour, 45 minutes of Lagaya too. So BRB, dudes. <laughs> They want to make the house too hot and I cry. I mean, the bedroom should be okay, hopefully. Upstairs here. Hopefully. Up your butt. Uh, I mean, I don't know how that's going to help you. We're in a different room. <laughs> I 
The one thing I will say I did like better about this game than the other ones is the voice acting isn't complete ass. I know you guys can hardly hear it, but <laughs> it's not nearly as uh, cheesy, just bad. I don't know how you want to describe one, one especially, but one, two, and three. It's uh, the voice acting. It, it existed. It was a thing. I to say that much. Did you say something? You cleared your cookies in history, so it's censored Noodle's yeah, message. I'm what the hell? <laughs> I'll be your support on this mission. That'd oh, now they give us uh, subtitles. I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to yeah, kidnap right. It does kind of actually look like well. Solid Snake. Good. Talk you know, those are games I've never played either. Any of the uh. Metal Gear games? I tried one of them, I feel like. But I've never played through a single one, though. Alright, so files... No, that's just telling us about shit. How do we go to... I mean, audio setup, but nope, nothing there. I mean, I don't know if Dolby Pro Logic works with this setup or not, but whatever, we'll leave it on. I don't care. Uh, yeah, no. Sadly, it doesn't look like, um... Doesn't look like we have any subtitles at all. Uh, you would not like to load. Yeah, no, I don't want to... I don't want to load! Like I said, I did play this game not too long ago for the podcast. So I do have a save file, but we're gonna, we're gonna start fresh here, man. Start from the beginning. Why do I have black bars on the top and bottom? I don't remember that being a thing. Hold on. Let's go back into the screen adjust. Oh, that's weird. So if you have widescreen turned off, it just puts black bars to make it widescreen. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> that's so weird. I don't get it. Huh. Weird. Okay, so R1 is aim. That's good. L1 is knife. The other buttons don't seem to do anything that I can remember. Triangle is map. And there we go. Okay. Didn't know if your button needed censored. It's phrased. That's part of your daily, daily vocabulary. It really is. Please say up the A instead. I'd say the word, but I don't even want to talk to Autumn one today. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think the auto mod is going to flag you for saying butt or ass. I mean, it might. <laughs> I feel like we've probably set that as an allowed term at some point, but uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> the controls in this game are very weird, IMO, man. Like, I mean... Like with all of the Resident Evil games, though, I imagine you would probably get used to it after a little while, and then it wouldn't be all that bad. But, like, it's, uh, you know. <laughs> Fuck it, let's try ass. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Sir? <laughs> See, there we go. It's all good, man. It made it through without a problem. You're Gucci. Uh, just... I mean, he said fuck and shit. Why wouldn't ass work? <laughs> I mean, Noodle's got a point, you know. Sorry to have bothered you. I don't think he speaks uh, the English. <laughs> Automod's that big of an asshole, that's why. I mean, sometimes, but you know. Every time you say something sketchy... In chat, auto mod gets a, a little bit better, man. I hate the way aiming works in this game, too. I just... <laughs> it irks me so bad, man. Again, I imagine I'd get used to it if I played enough of it. But it's rough, dude. I almost win. Hello! I am back, kind of. I'm in my chair, right? In, in front of the computer, I am looking at the screen, but I'm putting some fruit squeezy in my in my cup. 
well, my bottle because like I drink a lot of water but I like it I like a little bit of flavor in my life you know a little bit of a little bit of something something specifically right now a little bit of tropical pineapple mango drink enhancer natural flavor with other natural flavors <laughs> that's what I want in my life at the moment man Ah, uh, fuck yeah. That's where it's at. That tropical, tropical pineapple mango, whatever the fuck it's called. It's some good stuff, man. Highly suggest it if you're into uh, flavored water. It's like sugar-free flavored water. Like the, the, the mixes, kind of like the powders, but I, I usually do the uh, liquid just because it's a lot easier to mix in. And it's easier too, like if you have different size water bottles and shit like that. With the powders, you can really only do like 16, 32, 48, whatever, right? With the with the squeezy bottles, the, the liquid, you can do pretty much any size water bottle you want because you just keep squeezing it in until it tastes good. So like, <laughs> it's fucking, it's easy, man. I like it. Oh, uh, what I don't like is my nose. Fuck. Damn, here comes that good for nothing kid. Hey, where are the others? Marcus is hurt really bad. Galvin took him back to town. So that's it, huh? Went off and left me, did they? Figures. <laughs> Dean, here, lean on me. Come on, I'll help you back to town. Leave me alone. I don't need your help. Roan. Cough. <laughs> I'm so congested. I can't breathe. Fuck. Here's where we die. Oh. We're vibrating. It's vibrating hard. It's vibrating real hard, man. Exclamation mark. Ah, here comes a big one. It hurt the way I am. I can't even run. Looks like I'm the one holding you back. Save yourself, Lang. Get away while you still can. Groan, cough, cough, groan. <laughs> hey, what are you... What do you think you're doing? Cut it out. Seriously, it's an ant. That's what we're so scared of. A little a little tiny ant, man. You know what this makes me think of? Fallout 3. <laughs> In Fallout 3, though, there's that mission where you fight all the ants to, to, to like, protect the kid or whatever. And then you get, like, the, the ant powers and shit. Look. There's ants in, in Fallout 3, okay? It makes me think of that. <laughs> it's a big bitch. A gather crab. Oh, it's not even an ant. It's a crab. Man, I hate crabs. Uh, okay. Also, important to note, you do not, in fact, get, um, whatchamacallit, uh, heals at saves in this game. Good to know. I feel like that's important. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I hope it only has two um, attacks per turn. If it has any more than that, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. But... Mm, excuse me. But I think, I think we're going to be okay. I think we got this. We'll just heal powder up a little bit. And then... Just, just get to attacking this bitch, man. Yeah, okay. It's doing, what, 66 damage per turn. We can heal 200 per turn. So we're like, we're fine. Left, uh, down, down. Gather crab. Begin. Fuck yeah, what do we get? Hawk stroke? What the fuck is a hawk stroke? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, did it at least do damage? I was too busy looking at the animation to even like pay attention to what it was. What about left up up then? Does that do anything? You stroke a hawk. Uh, I don't want to stroke a hawk though. I saw a video of someone proposing via hawk. <laughs> Kinda, not literally. They were like at this show and uh, like the person came out that does the, that has the, the hawk or whatever. And uh, they're like, hey, if anyone wants to hold it, you know, put your, put your hands up or whatever. And the chick like, jumps up in the air and, and is like me me pick me all that shit 
and uh, the person's like, okay, if you want to, if you want it to land on you, just, you know, hold your $5 out uh, directly beside you or whatever she does. And then it flies over and uh, then it flies back. And then it, it's the lady's like, okay, and then here it'll bring your receipt. And she hands the hawk something and, and it flies back over to the same girl again. So she takes a piece of paper and she reads it. And I'm assuming it said, will you marry me on it? Because as soon as she read it, the guy hurried up and jumped down on one knee with like the ring in his hand. And uh, like she started crying and it was kind of cute, man. Uh, so Hawk Stroke also gives us AP. I still don't really understand why some moves give us AP and some take it away. But, you know, uh, anyways, what about right? What was it? Right down down. So what about or left down down? So what about right down down? I'm assuming it's not going to be that simple for the uh, for the shit. But, you know, might as well try it. It would make sense. <laughs> Uh, did we just chop its fucking arm off? How That's that? pretty cool. Post the link to Tom's Black Lives Matter speech. Wait, Tom was a thing like that? That like he was still making speeches? I thought he was canceled again. Did he just get canceled a couple years ago or something? Uh, right. Uh, I almost did right down right. That's something we already know. Right up left. Right up down i don't i don't remember what we've tried and what we haven't tried at this point is the problem <laughs> so like hmm. <laughs> he's back now but been canceled a lot oh okay um down left right surely that's something nope that wasn't nothing farce what the fuck is this? Is that like a, a nicer form of barf? Or no, it's having a baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> uh, how beautiful it is, man. Just you know, to watch to watch someone give birth. It's it's so it's so great. Oh shit! What is this one? Blade dance. Okay, so it did 107 total. So, I mean, like, that was that was a little bit more than usual. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Cut off another arm. Get fucked, gatherer thing. Whatever your name was, I've already forgotten at this point. I'm sorry. Dude, it's even worse. <laughs> even worse than vomit. Oh, wait, was that, was that legit it? Now we just got the little guy? No, okay. Uh, Venom? What? Excuse me? I don't, I don't remember agreeing to this. All right, we should probably heal TBH. Let's do that. Because, I mean, with two of them attacking us now, we should be able to take out the little one easily enough. Um, I can't help but notice that we're full on AP, so I'm assuming that that other move we just got also gives us AP, which, again, seems a bit ridiculous. Also, they're doing significantly more damage now, so we definitely need to take out the, the little guy. Uh, right, left, right. And yeah, the claw ant. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill it. Please, please. Yes, 153. Fuck yeah, dude. Sandstorm seems like the way to go. Um, okay, I don't think Venom will kill us. And I don't think his normal attacks will kill us. So let's just do, I guess just Sandstorm again. But I, I, I want to keep experimenting. 133 that time but at the same time like i also just kind of want to kill it oh good it's it's barsing again one of the youtube comments on the video is not only is he invited to the cookout he's on the grill i kind of wish i could have gone to a cookout that i was invited to recently just because like they posted a picture of some of the meat that was being put on the grill like the night before dude and like I'm so mad <laughs> but I had to work so I couldn't go uh, work fucking sucks work ruins everything all I want to do is eat good food but no can't fucking do it um okay so let's do sandstorm to kill the little guy again client number two does that seem to work although we could probably do like What's the, the name of the other move? 
getting that one like also heal AP and, and or not only heal AP but didn't it also kill him so we probably could have done that but yeah I don't know oh shit 125 now that wasn't a very good one either it seems like blade crusher is still our best one man to do um, also we're like dead uh, not tactics battle item heal powder select begin heal it up bitches so the tactic is just mash <laughs> mash unless like you need to do a combo to kill something but like the, the part I'm not understanding is the combo sandstorm right is the only one so far that we know drains AP and that one's not like that much more powerful than the other ones I'm sure maybe once you get like farther into the game, it probably makes more of a difference. Yeah, literally all of them seem to give AP except for Sandstorm, which I don't understand. Can we just select them that way? We can, that's neat. I appreciate that. How's that? Uh, Venom this bitch. Wait, hold on. Let me take my turn. <laughs> now, now you can venom this bitch. Uh, okay, sure. I guess we're doing that. I actually meant to like select an attack, but nope. We're doing down, up, up. I think that was. Oh no! Fuck! We got poison. That's that could actually be bad. Um, okay. First thing we need to do is heal. Because if we don't, we're probably just gonna die. And then we'll use the poison cure. I heard your complaint about your stuffies. Do you want to try a generic Claritin? No, I don't like drugs. <laughs> I don't like, uh, uh, da, 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 what the fuck they call them? The, the fuck allergy medicine, at least. They make y'all blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You seal first, then poisons, then attacks. Yes, exactly. You're just gonna suffer then? That's the plan. <laughs> it's not drowsy. Uh, you're not drowsy. I'm drowsy. Actually, we're gonna heal again and then we're going to attack because we're under 200 and our heal powder does 200 heal. So. Watch us get instantly poisoned again. Uh, fucking called it, dude. <laughs> Fucking called it. Um. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. We're just gonna we're gonna attack. We're gonna attack. Wait. No, I. There we go. Okay. You have to press circle first. I was like, wait a second. Why can I not select now? I thought we could. I thought we could fucking select before. Four out of ten. Sucky bad joke. Oh shit. Is he dead? He was that close. Why did I not just fucking attack him earlier? Four out of ten, sucky bad joke. I don't even remember what I said, so take that. <laughs> Antihistomine? Antihistomine? Definitely not antihistamine. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, antihistamines are a class of drugs, but I don't know if that's like the specific one that that generic thing that you have is. Does poison persist outside of battle? That's always the question. Is it like Pokemon? Do we take damage every step? Are we gonna be fine? Isn't that the allergy drug? What, antihistamine? Antihistamines are the class of allergy drug, or a class of anti-allergy drugs, yeah. Histamine actually does a lot of strange things in the body, and they're finding that antihistamines can be used for a lot of different things because of that, um, but it's not like fully understood. At all. Loratadine? Loratadine? I don't know the proper pronunciation, but yeah, that's how, that's the actual drug itself. Hey, kid, give me a hand, will you? Why? Because I took down that bitch while you just fucking cowered over here? That's the Claritin. But let's get this straight, Lang. You listening? I don't have much of a choice. You're like on top of me right now. <laughs> Don't go thinking I owe you or nothing. 
I could have taken that monster if I wanted to. Easy. Aren't you the one, like, dying right now? And I'm the one helping you walk back to town because you're dying? Antihistamine? Yeah. That's how you spell it. Uh, I feel like I need a burp, but then I didn't, and I hate that. Fucking sucks. Oh no, is he gonna make it? First Marcus, and then even Dine. Hey Lang, that big monster you were talking about, did you really take it down yourself? Answer honestly or brag about it? I mean, the honest answer is yes, I did. <laughs> it was a challenge, but I got through it somehow. That's what helps with your system symptoms and highs if you got them. Antihistamines. Yeah, I know. That's why I said antihistamine is a anti-allergy drug. Or a class of anti-allergy drugs. But there's different kinds. Loratadine is one of them. But there's a bunch of different ones. Anyways, I don't know. I'm getting confused. It's hard to, to have like hold a conversation like this. <laughs> Whenever you're on a delay and in text. Good work. I would have liked to see that, which means we can all sleep easy tonight. You liking to see that means we can sleep easy tonight? Hmm. Lang, you must be tired. Go back to your room and rest. Thanks, Dad. Can I, like, snoop around? That probably isn't the best time. He may be hurt really bad. Nah, I'm sure he's fine. He's just faking it. Who are you? What is this house, anyways? Is this for, like, all the Vigilance Corps or whatever? Do they all live here? Including the old man? Injuries are an occupational hazard for the Corps. It's nothing out of the ordinary. But if you do not take this seriously, you may be more than just injured lying. It's true. It's true. I'll give you that. If I get hurt, I might be hurt. <laughs> Rough day, eh, Lang? Looks like you made it in one piece, at least. Uh, answer with reservation. I just barely made it. It really was a close call. Tell it like it is, huh? Hell yeah, I do, man. I'm cool like that. Hi, Nancy. I'm just going to barge into your room late at night. Lang, I heard you were quite the hero today. You saved Dean, right? Is it true that you took down some huge monster? Fuck yeah, I did. Brag about the day's adventures. Huh? <laughs> Amazing, huh? I did it all by myself. Alone. Just me. <laughs> That's interesting. I thought Father had already beaten it half to death. Uh, No. Actually, he didn't. <laughs> now go to bed. If you ever sleep again, I'm not going to help you. But for real, though, dude, like, I'm the one that took it down. I did that shit all by myself. Dad didn't do shit. <laughs> rude. She's fucking rude. Everybody's rude. All of them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, your daily reminder to keep sending positive kitty vibes for Noodle. Yep. Yeah, we haven't heard anything back about it yet, about the possibility of her getting that uh, a, a main coon for free. But, you know, maybe. There's no way to know until it either happens or not, I guess. So, positive vibes and all that shit. Yo, shit, the poison's finally catching up with me. Oh, good. Visions of my town burning. That's always a good sign. Or a town. This doesn't really look like my town. The fuck is that? Why are there, like, weird-ass windmills above the, the town gate? I get the feeling they're not a fan. <laughs> of mystics, whatever the hell mystics are. I think mystics have something to do with the crystals. I don't know. I hardly remember any of the lore from the first game. His chest mark? Yeah, yeah. Probably something related to that. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Look at his chest mark. He's one too. Get him, kill him. Uh oh. You already had to watch your town burn in Fable? 
I think watching towns burn is just one of my favorite activities at this point, man. <laughs> Coming at me with the scythe. Damn, boy. It's the angry mob looking for Shrek. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Is Shrek getting, like, a random resurgence? I know Shrek memes have, like, always been po uh, popular, but I feel like they're even more popular now, like, recently. Lang, are you okay? What happened? You were thrashing around. Why were you... How did you know I was thrashing around? Like... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Shut up. I was sleeping peacefully until you woke me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. You were probably remembering what happened today and cowering. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. <laughs> God, that's a fucked up video. This doesn't bode well since we're in the same town, says Nate. Uh, <laughs> no comment. Plead the fifth. All those things. Go to bed. If you ever sleep tomorrow, you won't get fed. Damn, Nancy. I still want to know, like, were you creeping on me in the middle of the night? Was I thrashing so hard that you could hear? And if I was, why do you assume you can just walk into my room, man? What if I was, you know, getting it on or something? Like, you can't just come in my room anytime you want, Nancy. God. Saying her name over and over again, though, is making me want to watch Stranger Things. I fucking love Stranger Things. <laughs> like, well, we're screwed. Yeah. That scene in the dream. Where was that? I've never seen that town before. Something about Mystic? What was that about? Why does this also make me think of Legend of the Dragoon? Or Legend of Dragoon, however the fuck it's pronounced. I have no idea why, but it makes me it makes me think of that. I don't think it's in any way related, other than I vaguely remember like a scene with fire at some point in that game, but... <laughs> Good morning, Lang. I seen you were able to wake up on your own today. Hold on, I'll get breakfast ready. Thanks, Nancy. It's about time you do something nice for me instead of just banging pots in my face and yelling at me. <laughs> Totally calling a future vision or thing from the past. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was a thing from the past myself, but you're a wizard, Harry. Lang, you're really early today. Nancy isn't done making breakfast yet. Have a seat. I can be early sometimes. Like, the character from the game, not me in real life. Captain, it's an emergency. She was banging pots in your face? She was! Yesterday, she banged a pot in my face, man. Bucket, pot, whatever. The one chick from Bad Girls Club? I don't know what that is. So... You tell me. I didn't go sleep because of y'all. I didn't go see because y'all. My husband. Would my husband be alright? This is very severe. I need to get... get but, 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 but I can't fucking talk. What happened? Monde. Mo Monde? I still... His name bothers me. I don't know what the fuck it means. Monde? Like Monday? I'm just going to call him Monday. <laughs> A stranger. A strange man in Hunter's Wood, out of nowhere. Boerto. <laughs> no, that was no. It was not a man. It was a demon. Nancy. Get over here, Nancy. Nancy, Aston, you take care of the rest. Edward. Edo. You are. <laughs> Fuck these names, dude. Why? Why did they give, like, Nancy just a normal name like Nancy and then all these other people, like... I'm assuming maybe this is, like, old English-Germanic names? Maybe some French influences in there? But, like, why? <laughs> Where do you think, eh? Hunter's Wood. Lang, you? Uh... Wait for Galvin's instructions. You stand by in town? I won't have the time or the energy to look after you today? What the fuck, dude? I'm the only one that was able to kill the big bad. You're going to leave me over here? D fuck. <laughs> uh... Hey, Lang, what are you doing just standing there? Come on, hold that. Fine, fine. I'll fucking hold whatever the fuck you want me to hold, Nancy. Oh, my Lord. Someone 3D printed a boat for a pothole. I saw that. <laughs> we have a big pothole in town. And... Because we live in a small town, that's, you know, the news that everyone wants to talk about is the fact that there's a big pothole in town. <laughs> like, like we've never had a big pothole in town before. It's becoming quite famous, yes. 
Don't worry about Mr. Borto. He may not look it, but Grandpa Hawk was an excellent doctor once. Lang, you killed that monster yesterday in Hunter's Wood, right? Yeah, I did kill all those monsters in Hunter's Wood yesterday. If you got all of them, how would this happen to Mr. Boruto? If you really did your job well, there should be no monsters in Hunter's Wood. They just said it wasn't a monster. It wasn't a person. It was a fucking demon, Nancy. I was sent out to kill monsters, not demons, Nancy. Okay, I did my job, so fuck off, Nancy. <laughs> It's possible that the monsters that got Mr. Bordo might not be from around here. As Vigilance Corps officers, we're doing what we can. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for, but, but this is too horrible. How could... I mean, people fucking... Shit happens, man. I'm sorry, it sucks, but... It's been ages since my last operation. How did it go? Just fucking spit it out, dude. Mr. Hawk, my husband. Is my husband... He'll be fine. He'll live. He should stay in bed for a while, but he should be okay. Sob, Mr. Hawk. Thank you so much. I love how, like, the coughs and the groans and stuff, they put all that inside, like, the little asterisks to, to denote that, you know, that's, like, an action that they're doing or a sound that they're making or whatever. But for Jill here, they didn't do that for Sob. So in my head, she literally just says out loud, Sob. <laughs> Sob, Mr. Hawk. Thank you so much. Ah. Anyways. <laughs> You're talking about the one on the highway. It almost took your car out. Yeah, I feel like it almost took half the town's cars out. Because <laughs> that's all I ever hear anyone talking about. A wound that serious may not have been caused by the usual monster in the area. I see Galvin has gone out there. I hope that he is safe. Go to Hunter's Wood or wait and see what happens. I mean, I was told to stay here. So wait and see what happens a while longer. Lang, go to Hunter's Wood. Aston, you're worried about the leader, right? I'll take care of the town. Go on. Aw, thanks, man. Thanks for letting me go, bro. Even though, like, why didn't you offer to go? <laughs> Are you scared? Also, is this the... Is this... Nope, that's Dane. No one cares about you. Is this... Nope, this is Marcus. No one cares about you either. Where's the other guy? There he is. Hi, guy. I want to talk to you. Oh, I can't talk to you. Lame. Uh, I guess we just fucking go, dude. Can we buy any, like, healing pots or anything before we go out there? If you're going, make sure you prepare well, okay? I would like to, but didn't the lady in there, like, run the, the fucking town, the town shop thing? Dude, these vegetables make me want to play Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley or something. Specifically Harvest Moon, because this looks slightly Harvest Moon-esque. It reminds me a little bit of one of the PS2 Harvest Moon games and then vegetables in the field and whatnot. Dude, Harvest Moon is like the greatest game series of all time. I'm sorry. It's true. It's just a fact. I can't, I can't help it. Slash Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is included in the Harvest Moon franchise because like it's just a better version of Harvest Moon. <laughs> Uh, came to buy. I would like to buy some heal powder, please. Um, how many do I have? I, I'm guessing the number on the right is how many I have. So maybe two should be fine. Yeah, let's buy two. Poison cure, we should be fine on that. Flag of retreat. Allows escape from battle. That's neat. A scroll with all the world's creatures written on it. All of them? <laughs> Every single one? Uh, I think we'll, we'll hold off for that for a little while. Think you're gonna head off, guys? I'll see you later. Have a good night, Rue. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. It was on a storm the night before all the talker comb was put up. Literally the day my ball joint was fixed. You gotta just wait to hear a drag or my tires laughing. That fucking sucks, man. I'm glad it didn't end up, like, breaking your fucking car, though. That would have been bad. Uh, okay, so that gives us strength plus four. I'm assuming that means it's four more than what we currently have. Right? Like, I... I want to believe that. And then weight plus eight, weight plus zero. So should we? I mean, okay, that leather chest is pretty fucking good, though. Like, that increases by seven. Can we buy, that's what, 1320? Oh, yeah, we can buy both. Let's get the leather chest and the broadsword. 
and then maybe maybe that's good let's get that i i have no idea what this game is like with loot if it's if it's a good idea to buy loot often and early or if it's better to wait until you until you get it from you know just exploring and shit i have no idea in this game which one's better so we're just gonna buy it and then fucking go for it man she made me walk around and look at her tires <laughs> uh. So it was like two weeks ago, my car is down right now, but not because of the whole shit, dude, your car's down again? What the fuck? How's it down again? What happened this time, man? Someone said we need to get all the shirts that say only in blank with a picture of the turkey drink. Oh, okay. Okay. You had me confused as shit, man. The way you guys talk, you guys talk about town so much, but like you try not to talk about town, which I appreciate. Like you try not to give it away too much, but you talk about it so much and like I don't know what the fuck you're saying most of the time because <laughs> I don't keep up with most of the town news and shit so like I didn't even know there were shirts that said only in blank with a picture of a turkey I didn't even know that was a thing y'all just confusing the shit out of me man <laughs> uh random buttons go wait uh yes attack but do the ant because we can probably kill the ant in one go with our new sword and shit, I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. 149 damage. Fuck yeah, dude. And then maybe we'll do, just to make sure that we kill it, maybe we'll do a little bit of like that classic blue moon buster on the bloody wolf. It's not. Someone said it should be, though. Oh, okay. Was already thankfully, but definitely didn't feel good about it till the next day when you came out and your tire wasn't flat. I can understand why. Certainly. But that still doesn't say what happened to your car this time, man. Whatever it is, I hope it's not too serious. I'm not positive, but I'm assuming we're just going to have to go back to the same place to where we fought the other thing. Because it didn't appear as if we could really go any deeper into this area, so. Oh, the fly trap. Dude, the fly trap ain't shit. We'll fuck this guy up, no problem. Watch this. Fucking sandstorm his ass. Get out of town. We don't need this shit. Uh, I take it back. We're not... <laughs> We're not gonna, we're not gonna fuck his shit up, but look, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, that armor seems to be putting in some good work. Uh, I don't know. Let's do that hawk stroke, dude. You went to change your brake calipers, ending up braking. Got that fixed to find out your upper ball joint is going bad and your one tire has wire showing. That's, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a lot, man. Yeah, that sucks. I need, honestly, I'm scared to look at my brakes because I've never changed them. And I've had the car for, what, two years now almost or something like that. And something tells me that they weren't too great before that. So, yeah. I'm sure it's fine, though. No reason to worry. Anyways, uh, that's a material. I wonder what the materials are used for. Hmm. Oh, that raises maximum HP. So we might as well just use that. Now that I know what it actually does, Leaf of the Fuji Tree bestows superhuman properties. Yeah, dude, let's just fucking, let's just eat that bitch. Give me all that HP, man. You have it, but only to do short runs, like to the store and such. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that seems fair, honestly. Emergencies and, and just to, you know, provide for your family. <laughs> have you had brake pads last two years? Uh, I don't drive like a madman. For one, and for two, at this point, there may no, not be any brake pads left for all I know. All I know is the car still stops, so it's fine. <laughs> Technically, like, I don't hear any grinding or anything like that. But, like, I mean, I can't imagine that it's still good, though. <laughs> Plus, like I said, I don't know if they were changed before I got the car. Roughly two years ago. So, yeah. I, I'll admit, I'm a little concerned, but like, as long as, as long as I can still stop. Hey, thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. Uh, hey, if we get enough bits, maybe I'll get my car fixed. <laughs> it only requires like $1,300 for me to get fixed. Like, if you don't hear grinding or chirping, you're probably good. Yeah, I know that's like how it generally works or whatever, 
but what I'm worried about is that it may have like ground past the chirping stage before I even got the car. Like as I just I just don't know how it could possibly still be good after two years. Like I'm not a heavy breaker or anything like that. I don't drive like an idiot most of the time. Uh, no offense, but you know, I just <laughs> I I generally try I generally try to break early and slowly. Um, I don't I don't uh generally try and like speed up uh, and like get right on people's asses and then slow down or and like when i'm in town i usually just you know slowly get up to speed instead of speeding up real fast and then slamming on the brake to stop at the no next problem. sign or whatever shit like that so like i'm gentler on brakes for uh than than some people are for sure but I, it still seems hard to believe to me that that they would still be good after all this time, but I don't know. I'm not a fucking mechanic, though. So, who fucking knows, man? If it was stuck, you would know? Yeah, that happened to my brother, man. We went to get pizza on our lunch break one time, and uh, his brake pad snapped in half <laughs> and got stuck in there. So, like, yeah, that was a fun time, getting the car to move. Um... Because, like, we, we parked or whatever, and then he went to move, and, like, he moved a little bit, and then all of a sudden it just stopped moving. And, uh, it took us forever to figure out why the fuck the car wouldn't move, but, uh, yeah, it was just one of the wheels were locked up. And, uh, it was locked up because, yeah, the brake pad, like, snapped in half, and so it got itself wedged in there so that it was basically being pressed all the time, even though, you know, it wasn't being pressed. And, uh, yeah, that was a fun time. Hey, Good stuff. Good stuff. Everything's okay, though. Everything is awesome. I don't know. My, my, my thing is, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to either... If the car survives long enough, and I'm hoping it does, my plan is just to wait until next tax season and then probably get everything fixed on it in one go. Um, I'm just hoping that it lasts that long. Because, like, the, the big thing, obviously, right now is the gas leak in it, but that could cost up to $1,000, and I just don't have, you know, over $1,000 to just drop on that. And then I am pretty sure one of the ball joints is going out in it, so I need to get that replaced. So in the meantime, I'm just staying off the highways as much as possible, just going on back roads and shit so that I can, if it does break, it's not, like, catastrophic. Um... And then, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just trying to wait until I have the money to get it all fixed. If, if I can't do that, then, like, I'll probably just search for another car, to be honest. Because uh, even though, like, this is a good car, like, it, it runs well, right? It's not super loud or anything like that. Um, the only problems are, are problems that are normal around here, because we live in an area where shit rusts constantly. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's good stuff. Will we be okay for the 15th? Yeah, we'll be fine, love. Unless the car, like, breaks down while we're going there or something like that. <laughs> but we should be fine. We take back roads to, uh, to, to just about everywhere that we go anyways, so... Should be fine. Oh, I skipped that a little bit. L lang why didn't you... Wait, why didn't I what? You can't blame this on me. The fuck did I do? run oh he's probably saying why didn't you listen to me is probably what he was gonna say I bet you that's it ball joints aren't too pricey if you do it yourself you highly suggest it. if it wasn't for where I was at mine breaking it would have been real bad yeah I uh problem is I don't have like the ability really to do that like I don't have any way to lift the car up other than just a jack and uh, I'm not going to <laughs> get under the car with it on a jack because uh, I'm not going to risk dying <laughs> just to fix a ball joint. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't think we can hurt this dude. I don't think we can hurt this dude at all. Yep, this is this seems kind of pointless. I think this may be a scripted loss. You'll help me. We can go to the garage. What garage? 
because most garages won't let a car with a gas leak go inside them. <laughs> because if the car catches on fire, there goes their garage, and uh, they could potentially be held viable because, you know, gas leaks. Unless, like, you take it to a garage to fix the gas leak. That's, a, that's another thing. In that case, you know, kind of got to do what they got to do. Demon? No, not a demon. A mystic? Are it you a mystic? Power. He kind of looks like that dude from our dream, doesn't he? But just older? Have a floor jack in the jack stands. It's the family garage. Yeah, maybe. I gotta figure out if it actually is the ball joint before I do anything too crazy. I need to lift it up and see if it, you know, rocks the tire rocks around or what. But that's not too hard. I can do that easily enough. Because I do have a jack. I just don't have a flat ground and jack stands or anything like that. You and I are of the same breed. You should know what that mark on your chest means. I think that is the same dude, just older. The same race, you and me. That's right, the same race. That's why you have that mark, too. It's proof you're one of us, the chosen ones, a mystic. I mean, we kind of saw that plot twist coming. Yes, I knew it. So that was like a flashback then. And now I ask you, have you seen a stone that looks like this? A, a bright ass shining light? I haven't seen a stone like that. Nope. <laughs> hey, that stone. Dude, don't be fucking stupid. Don't just be like, hey, that stone. I've seen that before. <laughs> a lake everlasting purest crystal. We have the aqualith to thank for that. So the, the mystics draw their power from the stones, I, I, I'm assuming is what's going on here. That seems reasonable. The lake in town, is it? That's quite near. Why the fuck would you tell him that, you dumbass? <laughs> Don't be fucking stupid, Lang. To the town in your thoughts, there's a sacred stone there that I've been looking for. When I get the final sacred stone, the old race will perish and it will be the dawn of the new era at last. No way I'm letting a guy like you get anywhere near that town. You would protect the town, but why? What possible meaning could that town and those people have to you? They're utterly worthless. Surely you agree? No, they're my fucking family, dick. Monster? You call me a monster? Another flashback time? Assuming it's another flashback time. They built the garage at your paps. still being finished and organized, but they have just about any tool to use. That's dope, dude. That's one of these days I want to get a hold of uh, my cousin's dad to see if he ever got a proper lift put in his car. Because he's like, he's a proper mechanic, like like a, a professional mechanic. Um, so I was going to see if he could do the gas line for me. Uh, like, I would still be willing to pay him whatever it ends up costing, of course, and for his time. But it, I would just rather give that much money to him. Plus, I know that he would be fair about it. Like, taking it to a random shop, I worry a little bit about whether they would end up replacing everything, even if everything didn't actually need replaced, just because, you know, the money. But uh, whereas, like, my cousin's dad, I know that he would just replace it if it needed replaced, like, if it had to be replaced. And I don't have any worries at all of him ripping me off, which, you know, I appreciate. <laughs> but I don't know if he ended up, ever ended up getting a lift put in his garage or not. I know it's something he was always talking about, but I haven't actually been to his house in like eight, nine years or something like that. So I don't know if he ever did or not. You, you say the same thing those humans did. Exactly the same. Oof. <laughs> Arg. I. <laughs> Oof, arg, I love it. That's what my dad's looking at next. That's one of the reasons they raised it up was to fit a lift. Very cool, man. I think owning a lift would be awesome. I, I, I want to get into working on cars, just like as a side note. 
Like, honestly, I do. I think it would be awesome to get a project car and fix it up from scratch or something like that, but I just don't have the space or time to, to get into that. Why? You killed him. He's one of my own race. Eagle? This man. He's the one that holds the power of Galea. Galea? If you let him live, he'll only get in your way. think this man could get in my way so I'm assuming I'm like the most powerful mystic in the world or something <laughs> nothing could be a threat to my power impossible classic bad guy that's way too sure of himself Is this where our like mystic powers awaken or something Maybe? Question mark? Yeah, there we go. Hey. Hey, you. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Navi. We can never get away from you. Is that... That's me? No, that's him. That's Gold Eyes. this another vision what is what are we what are we doing right now what is what is going on here okay you got all three crystals got it so is this a vision of the future we had a vision of the past now we got the future or something bad dude doing bad shit that that totally makes sense I'm following along so far <laughs> Soon it shall begin. Soon what shall begin? The fuck? Was this was this all a vision? Or did they like come and save me after the battle or whatever? Okay, I'm think I'm thinking I'm thinking that all actually happened. Lang lang lang, you're awake. Okay. Thank fuck. <laughs> I have to get father. How long have we been out? Also, her running animation is absolute ass, dude. <laughs> That's one of the reasons you've been learning as much as you can from him and your pat between the two of them. They learned and forgot more skills when it comes to that stuff than you think you ever will. But you can't confidently mess with a lot more when it comes to cars than you could last year. That's one good thing about the car breaking. Fair, yeah. I mean, like, I, I can, you know, change my oil, change my tires, change a belt. I can do, like, the basic stuff. And with, like, YouTube and, and the internet being the way it is, I feel like I can confidently do most stuff from, like, a mechanical standpoint. Um, but, like, there's some things I just wouldn't be comfortable doing. Like, I, I thought about seeing if somewhere had um, a, enough of a lift, a safe enough lift for me to get under it and do something like the gas line myself. Like, I thought about that. But then I was like, dude, that's right up against the brake lines and shit. If I fuck up the brake lines, then I have no brakes. That's a lot worse than having a small gas leak. <laughs> so it's like, I think I'll just leave certain things to the professionals. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Maybe someday, but uh, not right now. As far as that goes, something like a ball joint or whatever that I'd be okay with. Aw, oh, Galvin's crying. If you had died, I don't know what we would have done. I'm so glad. Galvin. I. <laughs> Aston got a hunter's wood just in time, but too late for Edward, unfortunately. Can't believe you've been asleep for five days? We couldn't find any wounds, but you wouldn't wake up at all. You don't know how worried we were. You must be starving, right? Of course you are, sleeping all this time. I'll go make you something right now. So it only takes a near-death experience for y'all to finally appreciate me. <laughs> it's too soon for you to be walking, boy. You don't look injured, but that doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with you. Take it easy and rest up. Oh, there's something fucking wrong with that boy. That's for sure. Hey, guess what? Get fucked, Galvin. I'll do what I want. <laughs> up and moving around in no time. Anyways, guys. 
Uh, that was actually pretty fun. I, I want to play more of this game, but I definitely want to play Legends of Lagaya before I end up playing any more of this one. But I'm still glad that I gave it a try. The combat system is, is just unique. I, I like the way all the combos work and stuff like that. I don't understand some things with like the AP, some moves gaining AP, other moves losing AP. Like, why, would, why wouldn't you always use combos if that's the case? The only thing I can think of is if, like, because the combos seem to never use all of one button. So, like, maybe if someone has a really weak lower section from a defense standpoint, because it seems like your defense works on, on, like, upper and lower halves. Like, if you attack the upper half, like, they have two different defense values for, for top and bottom. Um, so maybe, like, you wouldn't want to always use combos because... I don't know, it might be better just to attack the bottom on some creatures or just the top. I don't fucking know. Like, that that part is a little confusing me, the whole AP thing. And then there's the uh, the magic system, which we know nothing about. I just, I just happened to see that it said mana. So there's obviously magic that comes into play at some point. But I have no fucking idea how that works either. Hopefully one of these days we get to figure out. But tonight, I think that's pretty much all we have time for, guys. It is already after 2 o'clock. Our two hours is up. Uh, just a reminder for anyone that's here now that maybe didn't hear yesterday, for the foreseeable future, I will be most likely starting my streams at 12 instead of 11.30 uh, Eastern Time because Mr. Noodle's work uh, it now runs a little bit later, so there's nights where I don't even get home until 11.30, so yeah. 12 o'clock is what it's going to be for the foreseeable future. There might still be streams every once in a while that I start at the, the usual 11.30. If I'm going to be starting at 11.30 instead of 12, I'll try to let everyone know a little bit ahead of time so that, you know, they can get in here or whatever before then. But, uh, yeah, thanks for, for coming and hanging out and whatnot, guys. I appreciate it. Really, I do. It's nice, uh, it's nice being able to hang out and talk with y'all while I play games and shit, catching up with my friends and all that. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing some fucking Odin Sphere. Hopefully getting through that game slowly. I don't know why Google went off when I said fucking Odin Sphere. I'm pretty sure that sounds nothing like the trigger word for that. But anyways, for the last time, bye-bye guys. Have a nice night. I hope to see you tomorrow. And as always, be kind to each other. The way it worked in Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3.